important to remember this region's made up of any number of housing markets and actually housing market areas don't really fit neatly with our local authority boundaries so our focus at Midland Heart is particularly in the inner city um, it's where we've always operated but actually housing associations across the region are building in the inner city they're building in market towns they're building in rural communities and they're delivering you know truly affordable homes so they're delivering homes that are accessible to people who want to perhaps buy on a shared ownership basis people who want to rent at just below market rates or actually people who can't afford to rent except at the very lowest social levels and housing associations are delivering all of that the first one we've already got which is actually let's have a collective ambition to deliver and I think today's showed that there really is that across public private third sectors that's there um, second thing I think is about land you know land is a finite resource um, in this region we need to focus on bringing land to market as quickly as possible and particularly in this region where that land requires work before it's suitable for development we need to crack on and get that land ready um, third thing I think we need urgency, we need pace around delivery and hopefully today has shown that we're all up for that. I've had conversations in this conference today in the space of a day that it will probably have taken me two to three months to, to arrange on an individual basis. Um, they're a way of forging relationships and it's relationships that gets properties built. Well, thank you very much. I had a, a great day here. And uh, going back to regeneration, yes, we have got some pretty extensive uh, experience across the world, especially, as I said, in, in Europe. Um, I think that one of the things that I'd like to say is, is sort of working out what the people need and what the communities really require, and it's, and it's sort of engaging early. Um, as, I, as I pointed out, I think the success of regeneration is, is working out um, what the local market is and, and working hand in hand with the communities to make sure that we're getting it right and also uh, making sure that this is for, to, to fit with the needs uh, for the, of the, you know, the, the people in the community now but also for future uh, generations. I think we know what was really interesting is collaboration. I think I'll take that away. Um, I think that um, for uh, any sort of uh, regeneration scheme to be a success, it's about destination. It's about being a destination of choice. That's really important. We all want the same thing, which is accelerated house build. But hopefully we also want cohesive communities and sustainable communities. So in order to do that in an integrated way, we have to work together. Um, there's been lots of discussion about collaboration. And um, do you know, I, I've worked with lots of developers, with lots of authorities in past jobs. And believe me, it's, it's the way to go. So I bring a real commitment to listening and talking and challenging and working together. This has been perfect for me um, and, and I do genuinely think that uh, networking, bringing people together, allowing them to have very open and honest conversations are absolutely vital. I mean, where, where else would I have the opportunity to speak to 100 plus people? Well, it's more than 100 plus, but you know, for me, it's been absolutely perfect. A, a really gentle way to be introduced to the developers community. Um, to also hopefully give an indication of, uh, of how I work and the kind of things that I want to achieve and the things that I think are important. Um, and, and I really hope that I'll have the opportunity to continue the dialogue and discussion with a lot of the people that I've met today. So for me, absolutely perfect. I think it's been absolutely fascinating. First, in terms of the progress that the Combined Authority have made in their first 15 months, particularly after Brexit and not only that the progress that's been made with HS2 uh, and what that's going to deliver to the region and as I think was said today a number of times this is absolutely the right place the right time and they've got the right team to deliver so it's almost the perfect storm for the region I think Andy Street is a tremendous asset for the region um, and alongside that, Deborah Cadman coming in as the, the new leader, the new chief exec of the kind combined authority. I met her a couple of times, but she clearly is a very powerful person. She's very clearly very passionate about what she does, and I think she's the ideal person to pick up from Martin Reeves, who of course is going back into Coventry. I think the other interesting takeaway from today is it's absolutely no doubt whatsoever that the region is ready for business, open for business. 
And what's fascinating is the sort of strength in depth, because it's not only happening in Birmingham, it's not only happening in Coventry, which has got tremendous uh, industrial heritage. Cities like Wolverhampton, which have been in very difficult positions in recent years, are really out there attracting inward investment. Um, they won, I think it was local authority or city of the year, and all the evidence shows that they're going to go through another phase of regeneration. So I think there's a lot of positivity came out of today. And another interesting factor, I think, about the conference is I think probably 95% of the audience stayed completely through to the end, which is, which is a good thing for the conference, but I think it also says something about the passion of people in the region and what's going on here. Thoughts about next year? Honestly, too early to say, but clearly we're going to be talking, uh, it's always going to involve the leaders of the region because it's fundamentally important to have those leaders. What's going to happen next year is that we're going to see some of those major projects we're talking about today at a much more advanced stage. Some of them are going to be let, some of them are going to be developed. So I think, I think there's going to be a lot more talk about, as opposed to talking generically about investment, I think we'll be talking about some of the investment that's taking place, what the next steps are, where the market's going. Funny enough, I think we'll be in a much stronger position to talk more positively about what's happened in housing because as we heard today, organisations like the Barclay Group are coming in. There's any number of organisations that are coming in to look at that. And also the housing policy will be more mature by then. So I think, I think, we'll, I think we'll be picking up on a lot of the stuff we've talked about today. But the year on, I think, we'll, be, we'll see real progress. So we'll, we'll have a very, very different conversation. It'll be a very different, different dialogue.